Greetings. Today I'd like to share with you a unique story about food shoppers. There was a brand new supermarket opening early in the morning and the line had already started. First in line was Henry Hyper. He's thin, wiry, high-strung, nervous, uptight, and smoking a cigarette. He is wearing a suit that is just hanging on his thin frame. And he kept shifting his weight back and forth and blinking. Right behind him was Fanny Flop. She was quite heavy set. Her dress was too tight. Her slip was showing. She appeared very sloppy, slow, and lazy, and really didn't care about much anything. And she was yawning and scratching her butt. She was slouching and sniffling from allergies and wiped her nose. And she had her two kids, 10 and 8 years old, with her. Behind her, the third in line, was Carol Calm. She stood erect, calm, and at ease. She was comfortable with herself. She was neatly dressed in a pantsuit. She was agile, slender, and strong, and her face was bright and smiling. She had a list in hand. The door opened and the manager came out and informed everyone that the first three people in line will receive a free cart of groceries. Well, Henry got really excited. He started jumping up and down for joy and he wanted to go tell his wife, which would mean he would lose his place in line and everyone had to calm him down. Fanny just shrugged and didn't think much of it. It was no big deal. She really didn't care but her kids were jumping up and down for joy. Carol, she just thanked the manager, shook his hand, and went in to get her cart. Well, Henry was rushing up and down the aisles, where he grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. Away from three cartons of cigarettes, he picked up some beer and pretzels and whiskey and garlic, hamburger, ham, bacon, chicken, Donuts, sweet rolls, peppers, a couple pounds of sugar, syrup, spaghetti, hot sauces, spices. And then he also had to get some Tom's antacids, Rolaids, sleeping pills. Fanny was going down the uh, aisle as the kids were pulling her. They were going to start running around, but the manager warned her that the kids had to stay with her. So, they helped their mother grab the potato chips, wieners, cocoa puffs, puddings, pretzels, processed cheese, food, uh, m ms Fruit Loops, Fritos, TV dinners, frozen pizza, pop, butter, chocolate milk, chocolate chips, french fries, white bread, jello, ice cream cones, donuts, pot pies, milk, lollipops, candy bars, popcorn, toilet paper. She also had to get Rolaids and Pepto-Bismol, along with aspirin. Carol headed over to the organic food section in the bulk area, where she picked up rice, oats, bran, barley, and then she got some yogurt and eggs and uh, canola oil, coconut oil. She got tea, nuts, fresh salmon and chicken. She got the sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. And in the produce section, she grabbed avocados, bananas, peaches, oranges, grapes, coconut, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, onions, lettuce, spinach, sprouts, tomatoes. Uh, she got some milk and some paper towels. And then she ground her own peanut butter and she got some pet food for a dog. Now the manager was casually following them. And also, particularly when he, they went to the checkout corner. Henry, he picked up mostly stimulants, which are addictive and can make you uptight and nervous. Fanny picked up all imitation, processed and overripe foods that leave people listless, lazy, and susceptible to illnesses. Carol, on the other hand, brought mostly foods from Mother Nature, natural foods, organic foods, 
So she felt real good and healthy. And the manager watched them. If the kind of food that they picked up reflected their behavior and emotions. Which one are you? And which one do you want to be? Well, thanks for watching. And if you want more help, here's some websites for you. Also, they'll be down in the description below. Come back soon.